So I was on my way home from work. Um, I was driving and my aunt called me and she told me that my mom had gotten pulled over and that they had arrested her. I was just like yelling. I got really crazy. Um, I was on my own. I didn't know whether or not to drive. I called my aunt back. I was like, where are you at? She's like, we're on our way to your mom's. Okay, when I... I was I was driving on the I-17 and I was just like I don't, I didn't even know like what I was doing like I was just looking straight but I was shaking I was mad I was yelling at God I was I was mad and um uh, once I got here my my dad was standing on the door and I don't know, I just hugged him and I'm like, why why is this happening to us? You don't know how bad it is until you're actually living it. I would I would see people and I would feel bad for them and it's not just sadness, it's rage. It's a lot of anger I have inside. <laughs> because it's not something that's it's just starting happening. It's been going for many years and now that I'm living it, getting it first hand. My mind just goes crazy thinking of so many things to do. But at the same time I know I can't do nothing. A lot of anger. Um, call. Make the call, sign the petition. Make the call, sign the petition. Share with your friends. Share with your family, friends, everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, anywhere. We'll appreciate it from deep, deep in our hearts. Because we want our mom with us. I want my mom. Comunidad y a todos que nos ayuden y no nos dejen solos, que estén con nosotros, que nos cuiden y y nos tengan en sus oraciones y y nos protejan y y que nos ayuden a a hacer llamadas, que llamen y llamen, que no importa que llamen, que que nos que se firmen en esa petición que hizo mi prima y que y gracias por apoyarnos se les agradece de corazón